friends, Amanda here. Welcome back to Handmade Now Hallmark and the next card of my Christmas card series for this year. And today's card features some amazing products from Simon Says Stamp, some new products and some old ones. I really hope you enjoy this card as much as I do. Let's get into it. The first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to work on my background. So I already have all of my panels for my card pre-cut um, using some dies and on my paper trimmer. And the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to create some interest in the background on this piece, but I wanted it to be really subtle. So I'm just using the Romantic Script background stamp from My Favorite Things. You could use any text background, anything like that. Um, I just wanted something really subtle in the background. So I'm using some clear ink to create kind of a watermark. And I really like the way that this turned out. Um, it's super subtle, but it's just enough to add just a tiny bit of interest and depth to the card. Once I had that all done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run it through this new um, embossing folder from Simon. It came from one of their releases recently. Um, it is called the Holly Jolly Berry embossing folder and it is super, super pretty. I love it a lot and it's so much detail and dimension. All I did was I just spritzed the back of this with a little bit of water just to help the cardstock not crack when I run it through and look at all of that beautiful dimension. I just love it so much. This would be pretty on its own just like this and you could create a card with that, but I wanted to go the extra step and I wanted to color all of these sweet berries and leaves in using my Copic markers. So I do apologize if my hair gets in any parts of the video um it kind of does its own thing and i wasn't paying attention and it definitely does get in the way a couple of times but this is a real speed of me coloring um i go really slow and um i try to take my time especially with um, an embossing folder like this i try to really pay attention to the different lines and if i need to i will pick it up and tilt it so you might notice me doing that here and there throughout the clips um, and that just helps me kind of see it a little bit better. I tilt it in the light to see the, you know, where the um, embossing is and everything like that. So all of the colors that I will be using today are going to be on the screen here. If you wanted to use the same color combinations, you could definitely color this in any way that you like. There's lots of options out there. I am going to put on a little bit of music for you to enjoy. And once we're all done coloring, we'll come back and finish up this card together.
once the coloring was all finished, I kind of set it off to the side for a little bit so I could work on my greeting. So I've got the Mary um, die here. This is from Simon and CZ Designs. This came out quite a few years ago. It's still one of my favorite dies to use for the holidays. And I just took the large square piece of this die and I die cut it using some vellum. I did it three times to start with and then later on um, I do add a couple more layers in just to um, hide some adhesive later. But um, this is my preferred way to kind of add vellum uh, to a card when it comes to using these sorts of die cuts. Um, using the Simon Says Stamp glue stick and just rubbing it on there. Now, if you have like a, um, a Xyron sticker maker or something like that, it would work out a lot easier, but I don't have one. So I found that the glue stick works just as good. Once that was all done, I did die cut um, the Mary die itself from some glitter cardstock. I believe this one is from Lawn Fawn, but any glitter cardstock that you have on hand will work. And again, I apologize about my head and my hair getting in the way. Um, I just, I really was not paying attention. This was like first thing this morning. So I didn't do my hair or anything. I just got up and started making a card and I just let it do its thing. It's really kind of, I just got like my bangs cut. So I'm still getting used to my bangs and I didn't do them this morning. So they literally like just stand up off the top of my head. Like I stuck my finger in a light socket. So again, I do apologize guys if it gets in the way and blocks any view. Um, but, uh, I'm just adding some liquid adhesive to this here and I'm being very minimal, but make sure I get just enough on there. Again, here's my hair in the way. Um, it's so horrible. <laughs> I'm so sorry guys, but I got that all adhered down and I put it under some acrylic blocks and just set it off to the side to dry completely. Next, I wanted to add some um, snow in the background here. Um, this does dry back quite a bit, so it's really subtle. I'm going to go in a little bit later to add some more, but um, I just wanted to add just a little bit more white to the card because my card base is going to be white, so I like to add in things so that everything's nice and cohesive. So um, I'm just splattering this on here. This is just some um, Windsor & Newton white gouache. I recently just picked up some new um, opaque white um, from Picket Fence. It's their paper splatter, which I'm really excited to try out. So um, maybe in the next coming videos, I'll be able to use some of that. So for my card base, I just have a top folding A2 size card. Um, it's cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to stamp a greeting on the inside. This comes from the Simon Says Stamp Christmas Blessings stamp set. This came out in Stamp Timber. Um, is September of 22 so two years ago um, still a, a favorite I think they just recently came out with some new ones some uh, set up the same way as this stamp set but um, has some new greetings so it's a lot of fun I really like it a lot beautiful scripty greetings and I felt like it was a perfect match for the inside of this card so it says Christmas joy and peace so the card is going to say Mary and then inside Christmas joy and peace so I thought that was a really fun so I'm going to get my station all cleaned up here and we can get to work on uh, the rest of the card I'm going to get some assembly done here so I did um, pre-cut my um, so I've got some of that same glitter paper I used for my Mary and because it is specialty cardstock I don't like to waste it I try not to so I just cut a piece that was just slightly bigger than my um, holly berry piece here and then I just cut the center out of it so I wasn't wasting all of that other paper that nobody's going to see so um, it's just an easy way to save on specialty cardstock so if you're pretty slim pickings like I am at this point um, I am trying to save every scrap that I have so um, just cutting the center out is going to save you lots of um, um, lots of specialty cardstock. So once that dried for just a couple of minutes, I added some more adhesive, liquid adhesive, and I put it on top of this fun scalloped um, red piece. This is from some Simon Says Schoolhouse red cardstock. Um, one of my absolute favorite reds for Christmas. I think it's such a beautiful color. I use it every year and I think it matched the holly berries really, really well. So I'm going to get that adhered to my top folding card base and I just love that white frame it looks so Christmassy I'm so in love with this card and how it turned out 
and then we're gonna get that married here right there to the front. So this is where I realized that I needed a few more layers of vellum. So I went ahead and already die cut those and glued them on and I'm just using some um, foam strips just on the top and the bottom where I can kind of sort of hide it a little bit more underneath the frame and it worked out really, really well. Um, you still get the illusion that it's vellum. You can still slightly see underneath it, um, but I really just like the look of vellum. I think it is really kind of classy and not too distracting. So, and I'm gonna use my T-square ruler to help me line this up nice and straight, um, just cause I don't have a very good eye for that. Um, sometimes things go a little bit wonky. So using that T-square ruler from Simon Says Stamp really does help out a lot. Once that was all finished, I wanted to go in and add a few more um, snowflakes because those other ones kind of dried back just a little bit. So I'm going in with some Nouveau drops in Simply White and going around strategically placing those in areas where I felt like I could use some snowflakes. If you, you could easily use um, some kind of embellishment if you wanted to here um, to create snowflakes, some clay snowflakes, anything like that. Um, or you could definitely leave those out. And then the last thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to add just a little bit more sparkle and shine. So I'm going over these berries with my Nouveau uh, Aqua Shimmer Pen. And that will finish up this card for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and this fun festive card featuring some awesome products from Simon Says Stamp. If you liked the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos here at my YouTube channel and during my Christmas series. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye. On screen, I have a few videos that I think you'll enjoy. Please consider hitting the like button as well as the subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos here at my YouTube channel.